guys, I think it's time. I will be just waiting here for a few comments from you to confirm that you can hear me well. And we will kick off with the fourth on Pedro's webinar. I'm in a studio all covered with foam, so I'm not expecting any issues with sound today. No construction workers around. Um, so yeah, all good, awesome, awesome. So hello everyone, my name is Michał Suski and I will be your host today on the fourth on Pedro's webinar. Um, today we have slightly similar formula uh, like the second on page rows but with a small difference uh, i'm not only analyzing pages today i will also look at the serps as well so um we will check the user intent uh, we will also check uh, the competition uh, we will check if the keyword is really competitive or not if it fits uh, the page that we are trying to rank so yeah i have over 50 applications so the plan is to analyze five maybe seven pages uh, they go full random i have a list handy so let me show you so i have a list here all randomized uh, straight from uh, from the google form you field i'm really excited about it especially that over 50 applications are there so i'm super happy about it thanks for your uh, interest in it and to i i want to ask you as well for your attention for the next 30 to 45 minutes so you are not distracted by facebook by your phone whatever to get the best out of this webinar i will try to put the microphone slightly closer to my mouth and we will start the on-page roast. I will just copy the first aircon servicing from the Singapore. Full blown analysis with all the NLP things. I will just create it and in the meantime, okay, you see my screen, that's awesome. So we just have to wait like 40 to 50 seconds until the analysis is done and we can kick off i will just check the url as well and we are almost almost there well this this keyword is not the best though uh air conservicing is kind of general i would rather see either a local local keyword with a city or something but yeah looks like one of those pages is really slow so we have to wait a little bit longer and yeah Oh okay. god. In the meantime I will check the settings of my sound. But yeah, I, I hope it's all good. Only left earphone. God damn. See guys, I have a brand new microphone always set up properly and now you hear me only in the left. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Why is that? As it was working good, so I won't mess with the settings right now. I have no clue, but yeah. Let's try it out now. Okay, we have the aircon servicing analyzed. Okay, the first page is blocking our crawler, so we were unable to crawl it. Okay. Um, God damn. 
you still hear me you know, only in one channel I have no clue as we were testing it like 30 minutes before all the settings are the same and I didn't change anything no clue at all as I have a monitor sound and it sounds just okay guys I think I will proceed and hope hopefully we can live with it so yeah let's get back to the analysis so who we have in here okay so it's all around this Singapore but looks like the location is uh, not that big god damn guys really <laughs> I didn't change anything anything was changed well <laughs> I need a technician but there is none there is none um, <laughs> uh, what can I do what can I do what can I do well I see the balance it's in the middle the stereo is on balance is in the r right in the middle I see it in OBS it says in the middle mm. well that will be a tradition that you'll never get it done yeah I did I did guys uh, I have it I can show you actually so I have advanced properties and you see the balance is in the middle um, so I have no clue why is that happening there is no input in here um, yeah I will just keep going yeah exactly exactly I won't waste any more time so let's 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 get started with the analysis eventually so what do we see in here okay I see only home pages there are uh, servicing companies all over the place okay there is something in Malaysia I don't know why it appears in Singapore but I have to exclude it because it doesn't fit okay best 17 aircon so let's take a look at our um, page to analyze okay got some tips uh, properties no not here advanced properties okay let's see oh god I see two bars now <laughs> I didn't change that I didn't change that before and now it's okay guys so now it's okay now it's okay I definitely see it's okay because I have two bars so what do we have in here aircon services it's definitely a company it's not affiliate site thanks God we <laughs> oh, we get over it so uh, right we have just regular site with services uh, the services is about um, aircon servicing so uh, we are matching with the uh, intent uh, because most of those pages are about aircon servicing I was also worried that aircon won't be the best word I thought it will be like air conditioning but it appears that the aircon servicing is the right keyword to target which is kind of cool so let's take a look at those sites in the top 10 okay we have a blog in here so definitely doesn't fit another affiliate site another one okay so the audit basically consists of a top five available pages so we have to find another uh, page that fits in here so 
I think it would be the page ranking on the 10th position. It's fine to include uh, pages that in that are in the top 10, maybe even in the bottom of the top 10. That's that's fine. That's totally fine. So we will include this uh, this page as well. So now let's find. Huh. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, we'll we'll stop in here with this analysis as our so-called client is ranking on the first position of the SERP so we have nothing to do in here when it comes to um, to the on-page analysis however I can try to crawl the page again to see if it will let us in or not but in general when you are ranking on the first position already there is only one thing you can do better basically and it's in the audit in the true density in phrases so the phrases that are used zero times while the competitors are using like for example friendly stuff that would be something to include like trusted aircon that would be something to include aircon system NLP uh, entity definitely to include so if you are on top you are not chasing anyone you are just uh, making sure that you have all the topics covered so uh, no messing with the densities just keywords that you are missing and competitors are using um, did it let us in? yeah it did so we can actually hit a quick audit here and as we are number one we are already a trendsetter okay kinda cool situation because this page, page is not well optimized when it comes to on page definitely is really poorly optimized so I'm pretty sure it's ranking so high with the authority and the backlinks so mm, I would rather expect that page with that many zeros would be ranking on a like maybe not even in the top 10 but it appears that this keyword can be done with proper backlinks and strong domain which is very likely that it's the case in here since the optimization is really poor is missing tons of relevant keywords NLP entities and so on so um, the advice I would have for the owner of this uh, site would be um, to just include those keywords that are not used but used by the competitors to strengthen its position on the top one and um, well that that would be it I would try to constantly grow the domain authority and probably target different keywords that uh, may be a good idea uh, as a supportive keywords for the aircon servicing maybe some blog posts maybe some long tail keywords and so on so okay let's move to the second page as there is not so much to do in here uh, we will analyze the keyword credit cards okay tough one Australia And let's see what we will s what we will have here. And actually, I have uh, information to all of you. Um, if you will stay till the end of the webinar, I will share a form where you can sign up for uh, testing the new tool that uh, we are developing. It's almost ready, but it still needs some user testing. So if you will let wait till the end, I will share the form. You will put your email there and I will contact you as soon as I can to share the access to the brand new tool. So yeah, stay till the end. And now let's analyze the credit cards. Again, we have one of those pages really stuck. Okay, got it. I will copy the URL. Maybe hide those emails in the meantime okay credit cards credit cards credit cards all the pages scrolled properly what do we have here best credit cards best credits compared conversions uh, government side they should be 
kicked out of here definitely and bank well it's a brand uh, trying to push their services against um, pages that are comparing other uh, other key or other cards so let's take a look at the page okay um, let's take a look at the page itself and see what is this page about credit cards Westpac credit cards offer you freedom okay so it's a brand it's a brand so probably we will have a competition in this guy Combank credit card finder now another comparison another comparison find a credit card credit cards from MasterCard okay okay so I see what's going on in here we are ranking already on the position 13 and we are almost the highest uh, when it comes to the user intent that is about a specific brand of credit cards not the conversions not the affiliate sites so user intent here is a bit mixed but uh, the majority of the top 10 ranking pages are about affiliate offers so um, I would say that the keyword is not the best for this kind of offer as we have uh, a single brand in here or am I wrong let me browse through the site I'm not sure if it's a if it's a bank or not what is this Westpac group let me see this okay so it's a brand it's a brand now it's confirmed so uh, this keyword is not the best keyword for this page because people are looking for comparisons and are not looking for um, brands uh, pitching their credit cards we can try it we can try it we can try to compare uh, with pages with the same user intent as we have so I have to exclude every affiliate site compare so they have to go find your credit card it has to go as well so yeah uh, so basically yeah thanks thanks George um, basically we can compare just with I will check this one if it's it's a bank as well yeah yeah it's a bank so if we have a s such situation you have to compare with other banks not compare with um, the affiliate sites and my general advice in here would be to drop this keyword uh, because people are not looking for the big banks uh, when it comes to credit cards they want to compare the other so let's try it anyway so we have number five number nine and ten and twelve five nine ten twelve so I will include all pages again and exclude all five nine ten and twelve this way I will do an audit just against those four pages that are other banks let's take a look maybe at the charts first what's the length yeah so we have two long form pages and two short form pages so let's see what's going on on Westpac okay Westpac has a lot of content so we definitely don't want to compare with other short forms MasterCard and HSBC so the only compet competitors we will compare with this audit would be number 5 and number 10 okay 
let's try an audit. I know we are slightly longer than the others, but probably we can keep that length uh, because that would be a drastic change to rip off the content by half and probably we can do something uh, a bit easier. Oh, that's kind of cool. We are over optimized even having so, so many words on page. So it will be definitely something to, to reduce um, when it comes to the exact keywords. Partials are okay. Just to remind you, partial keywords are the keywords that start with the same three letters as any word from your search query and we are okay here. Maybe we, can we could add a bit more, but yeah, that's just fine. Strong bold, well, it's not that important. Short title, it's fine. TTFB, pretty pretty long, so the server is not the best. Uh, that would be a technical issue, um, probably global, uh, when it comes to the whole website. It's not just about this page, probably. So it will be a general good uh, move to fix it. As well as a total load time, which is pretty high and it will also affect the health of the whole website so definitely um, something to, to improve in this area but I am not sure if that will be crucial to rank higher for the credit cards however it's worth to do definitely um, yeah, w w when I see this URL I think it's more about the personal credit cards so maybe that would be a more suitable keyword I'm not sure but yeah okay so let's see what's going on in the true density do we have any yeah well i see uh quite a lot of recommendations uh that are about um increasing the number of specific words like a credit limit and they come probably from the top five pages uh or not definitely not they aren't uh they come just from the pages that we are analyzing so well there's a lot a lot to improve mm, a lot of zeros so we have doubled the amount of content on the page but we still have a ton of unexplored uh phrases in the true density so um adding including all the zeros on the page plus the page speed improvements okay so we f we just found very high over optimization on the balance transfer entity and that should be definitely reduced another over optimization on a r low rate credit again low rate credit card that would be a good idea to check uh, also this search term which is probably pretty competitive as well uh, to check if we won't lose rankings because there are probably different competitors and they can probably have a slightly different um, different content so uh, that would be a good idea to check if we won't uh, lose rankings on low rate credit card uh, as probably um, there are slightly different competitors so be um, be careful with the optimization especially if the term that is over optimized may be also a search term that uh, is important to us okay well as usual as usual really fix the zeros fix the page speed and that would be my first step uh in in this area because uh messing with uh ripping off co 5k content to 2k content may require a lot of um paper work especially with a page of a big bang so uh, probably they won't be so happy to, to do this. Uh, so I would start with um, including those small terms that won't affect the overall look of the page. 
so that would be my uh, my goal for, uh, for um, optimization of this page I will just take a quick check if there is any hidden content on those pages okay we have 800 words they have 120 those guys have over one and a half thousand words hidden so it appears that it's not it's not um really um important in here okay so uh, to sum it up uh, to sum up this one we have really competitive keyword with different user intent so if i cannot drop this keyword uh, i would do I would include those missing through density if and fi uh, fix the, the speed but in general this keyword is not the best for uh, for this domain for this type of business so I would rather create a satellite that could be a good idea bank can afford it I would create a satellite um, kind of affiliate site that will promote uh, Westpac cards on top that would be my my secret weapon uh, for this keyword so we will match the intent and promote the cards that we want to promote okay let's move on we have best landing page builder in the United States that could be a cool cool review keyword probably the affiliate keyword or kind of a blog post content I like this kind of keywords because uh, they are really suitable when it comes to on-page optimization hopefully we'll have a strong domain that is missing a lot of uh, on-page elements so yeah and by the way I will just share with you what uh, Roger Lapin on the second on-page roast uh, achieved with uh, the changes that I suggested when I was roasting his page so he he had um, his main focus keyword improved from the position 14 to the position 9 that was his head keyword so yeah it's really worth to follow those um, I believe in them really and that's the best advice I can give you in like 5 to 10 minutes along um, audit hey Chris all good thanks man all good except one of the sites uh, ranking for best landing page builder as it is probably uh, really slow so we have to wait and maybe time out it uh, after 30 seconds or it will eventually get crawled okay what do we have best landing page builders best 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 nothing to do here um, in general when it comes to this kind of keywords that are homogeneous uh, absolutely homogeneous uh, only comparisons only best only lists and so on uh, so it's really really easy to uh, digest and decide um i see some bigger brands in here like neil patel blog is really strong domain but it appears that it's not enough to be that strong as he's ranking on position four so i will keep all the top five pages um definitely it will be a competitive keyword but the goal is to provide the best list of landing page builders uh, including between 10 and 20 tools what do we have here I will start with looking at the page huh. mm -hmm. Astro growth well <laughs> okay that's not funny at all but uh, maybe it's there yeah <laughs> so i will i will analyze it blindly what do we fetched 
I will just check if we've fetched just the yeah probably yeah site unavailable so mm, I will move on sorry sorry guys uh, we cannot analyze this so cool keyword um, so what we can do instead is to summarize it as um, include all the top five pages as the user intent is homogeneous it's pretty easy to write for this topic because uh, there are only lists of pages uh, so pretty pretty easy I would just drop this keyword in the content editor run for the average length which will be around 5k uh, 5 5k long and that's it just if you see uh, if you see a keyword like this one with really homogeneous results with the same intent with the same uh, style type of content just drop it in in, in the content editor uh, do it all green I know it will be a bit tiring because of the length 5k is a lot of writing and uh, it will probably <laughs> let's see how many how many true density terms would appear also in the content editor oh god over 200 phrases and almost 600 words that will be a pretty fun ride so yeah mm, the best what I can advise to Astro Growth is to drop their article in the content editor and make it all green that's it that's it it's simple nothing fancy in here just do it all green and all the rest is the domain authority basically and of course internal linking but we cannot check it with surfaces yet so I will move on to the next keyword which is real estate syndication localization US so we will have probably Washington as its a capital city real estate syndication bum 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 okay guys so as the analysis is spinning I will just tell you that we have almost one and a half K subscribers on YouTube it's like 1460 65 maybe so we are missing like 40 45 people uh, to subscribe to hit this so I would really appreciate if you could um, we are uh, up to putting a lot of uh, content on YouTube now uh, Tomek and Carolina will uh, record tutorials and other cool videos I will host another roast in a month so you can expect quite a lot of new content in there so yeah just hit the bell icon and yeah I, I, I would really appreciate if you can uh, make it one and a half K today all right we have a little bit of a queue so I will take a chance and drink a little bit of water someone probably put 100 keywords in there okay so I will put the next keyword in the meantime maybe it will go faster I'm not expecting that but let's give it a shot where's that United Kingdom I'm blind I'm looking at something and I cannot see it okay or it is the developers that break surfer Just winking at you guys. If you can bump. <laughs> I will give it a few more seconds and maybe we'll try to entertain you with something else. I'm not good at jokes, but what we could do. Hmm. 
I bet someone put like a hundred of or maybe maybe more than a hundred of keywords in the queue and we're just waiting. That's not good for the webinar. I will put the third one with a faith it will work, but let's see. Or uh see the topeka. Okay, so packed gaming. Um you asked for the topeka I guess. So do you want me to analyze the paving contractors? Uh, and uh, the CT Topeka or would you like me to analyze paving contractors itself from Topeka? The results will be slight slightly different so um, think about it and the queue is, is over so the real estate syndication can be analyzed. Nah, it's not refreshing the page um, it's because of uh, the queue, probably people use a lot of server now. So in Topeka, without Topeka or with Topeka as a keyword. Okay, um, I will I will catch you Ripley and kick off with the... Okay, cool. So I will hit the analysis. Uh, so we will have it ready and let's move on with the real estate syndication quick check for the url hopefully it will respond okay got it good egg investments what is this so basically is a blog post about real estate syndication let's see uh, what serps provide okay we have another uh, definitions like what is the real estate how it works how to syndicate a real estate deal I'm not sure if if it's the same thing but guide should I invest so blog content definitely hello 100% organic SEO cheers um, so uh, we have again we have kind of homogeneous content again so um, the best way to utilize your time when it comes to the true density audit would be to drop it in in the content editor actually we can we can try it um, that would be my ap my approach as um, implementing many true density uh, keywords uh, from the audit can uh, can be a bit harmful can take quite a lot of time and we can just outsource uh, I will just check okay it's kind of okay it's is all red so if I see all red I'm just I'm just moving directly to the content editor so what I will I will do now is just copy the content and put it there okay kind of similar length we can okay this full com is a really really strong domain so I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking if we should include it or not but as they as they have featured snippet I, I I think I will keep it I will keep them so to be super precise I'm just grouping all the keywords together so the blue I the blue I can show that it's NLP entity we all have all we have all the keywords grouped together mm. so uh, from now we can uh, just uh, put the content uh, maybe s just check the keywords if they are all if they all make sense like make sure it's not the best keyword um, so it's a good idea to kind of skim uh, skim the list before we got some questions that's cool we'll try to answer them as well 
but let's start with pasting the content and as I expected it's all red with some over optimizations on the keywords like property like people like uh, things it's not that important so uh, well everything is red everything is red so well I will just copy the shareable link and ask someone uh, to, 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 to fix those uh, red errors um, that would be the best the best thing to do uh, in, in in this article and let me uh, let me recall what was the initial position of this article uh, do they rank damn sorry yeah it's 11th position so with this kind of situation when not so well optimized content is ranking that high we can expect huge huge benefits of uh, doing the job in the content editor really so the content is kind of poor it's maybe maybe it's a uh, valuable content I'm not saying it's not but I'm saying it's not so well optimized and it's not covering all the topics that the competitors cover within their articles that are um, like more comprehensive so um, yeah just go go to the content editor fix it and see let's see what happens I'm pretty sure it will skyrocket it will definitely um let's let's check I will just exclude forwards or I will exclude all the pages and include except the, w the first one because it's uh, extreme authority side as we saw so let's see the top six for example and compare and take a look not at the length but let's take a look at the search visibility for the domain okay so we have one bigger player financial samurai okay I can exclude them as well and it appears that there are some mm, pages that are uh, comparable with with us um, even even smaller like this one go we go crowd.com it's weaker but ranking high so it's definitely uh, a content dependent keyword so um, the content editor will do the job just well okay so we are done with this one I think uh, let's move on to the Hungarian cinema the hell is that okay we have Wikipedia so you see I asked what the hell is the Hungarian cinema and Google knows that most people don't know right so they serve me Wikipedia uh, but that's not the intent of the page probably so let's see okay so it's a blog post about Hungarian movies I bet well okay it's a okay well that's weird okay if that's h1 then yeah it is so if I was going full SEO <laughs> then I would uh, use this anchor text Hungarian cinema Uh, linking to the home page as the home page is deserved to the rank to rank for the Hungarian cinema but mm, well I'm not expecting too much uh, in here okay so the page is not ranking which is not a surprise for me 
as we have let's take a look at the at the how competitive this keyword is i will start with the search visibility for the domain we have huge sites in here so okay who is here wikipedia of course and we have something at the bottom so i will keep excluding until i see the real numbers in the top 10 so the scale adjust okay that's a big brand as well but those are kind of smaller but still not that small well they, they generate just some traffic uh, do we do we have this domain yeah jordan is right or even i would I would use this disappearing sweetie uh, as a hero image with just, you know, as a part of the PNG file on the header and let the Hungarian cinema be the most prominent link on the site. Linking to itself is, is a good tip, I don't know if you tried it, but um, I tried it qua quite, quite a few times already uh, when I had pages stuck, uh, like in the position 20, for example, and I use the exact matching anchor text from uh, the page that I was trying to optimize to the same page, so link to itself basically, and that moved the needle quite often. So if you have some stuck keywords, that will really do the job. And with this, uh, with this page. Uh, the most prominent link on the whole domain would be this link um, that contains the brand. It, it's not it's not necessarily to do this with a brand as we have the brand in the URL already. So I would replace it with Hungarian cinema. And yeah. So let's see if there is any. So we. We even don't have this page in the database, so I bet it's really a niche site. And hmm. well, instead of targeting this kind of keyword, Hungarian cinema, I would try to target uh, reviews of specific Hungarian movies to build the the authority first. That would be my approach to developing this site. Um, we can check the research though. It is United Kingdom. Maybe we'll find something. No. Nah. Nothing. Well. Yeah. That's what I would do. Um, give up on this keyword. It's not the best keyword for this domain. Uh, focus on specific Hungarian movies and review them. And that will be something uh, that will make you stand out uh, from the crowd and build the authority. And after a year of reviewing one um, Hungarian movie a week, you will build enough quality sites that can improve your overall score um bring you trust and probably some traffic from from google uh, and only then you can try to tackle keywords like hungarian cinema but well at this point i i i, I just don't see it so well paving contractors boom 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 Okay, full blown. Okay, standard side uh, of a service, basic, basic local service. Okay, let's see what do we have here. So, I think I know what was wrong. Packed gaming. So, um, you have only directories in here, all the top five. They are 
uh, lists, they are directories, they are uh, pages comparing uh, paving contractors in Topeka. No, it's not. It's not too late. However, mm, I think I already found your problem because there are no other pages like yours. So it's absolutely occupied by lists. So if you'd like to, ta to tackle this keyword, I would probably uh, try to get to to this page, uh, reach out and maybe they could include you um, in here as they have only two paving contractors in Topeka so you won't have too many competitors in there so it's very likely that um, they will include your page maybe it's paid, I don't know but uh, I will just put this paving contractors uh, with the Topeka city Sorry guys, misclick. Okay, so I will let it analyze and again, in the meantime, I will ask you if you already found something new, then say yes in the comments if there is anything that that stick to, to you and you can use it in your own SEO strategy with uh, with Surfer, let me know if any of those analyses were helpful. I hope it's the delay of the stream because I cannot see any yeses. Yay! Thanks, man. You saved me. You saved my job. Okay, paving contractors to Pekka. What do we have in here? Well, it's the same situation. And the same situation, except we have some businesses, a bit more businesses in the top 10. So we have position five, six, seven, and eight. So what do we do? We, ex we exclude all the pages because I don't have any other competitors to include five, six seven and eight I will check which are the content okay short short so again go away go away oops mm -hmm. this one is 400 and this one is oh well so not a big of a difference maybe I will include them as you can see you can play with the analysis you can you can decide based on the data I just did so uh, originally I would exclude this kind of short pages but it appears that local businesses are not long enough uh, uh, are not that long I mean so they are like 200 200 400 450 still short pages so let's see uh, how long we are position 11 quick audit and boom yeah okay hmm in this situation I would rip off some content I would do it I would do it hmm you are missing quite a lot maybe the Kansas City is not the best to include Maybe it's close, I don't know. But you have this pavement maintenance, it's pretty often used. You have this Maraiko asphalt, uh, you have a uh, gravel driveway, steel coatings. Uh, um, then this is what I would do. Uh, I would rip off the content, like to keep like five, six hundred relevant words including all the terms from here that makes sense of course maybe zip code is is not the, the best or united states kansas city of course but rd topeka of course or maybe it's a different state <laughs> well i'm not 
good at uh, geographics of the US however um, you are good with those top keywords but you are not good at all with all the keywords that can move the needle like this is a service like right park lot stripping asphalt driveway I saw asphalt stuff on your page yeah asphalt miling uh, yeah you see stripping line stripping so probably you can include those uh, those terms in here uh, so definitely definitely do it um, in a moment but um, yeah what do you have to do basically is to select the right competitors the same competitors as I did here so uh, this page this page this page and that page uh, in the content editor and create the content editor based on them not based on the directories that you have selected by default because the default is top five pages so you should do it this way so selecting the competitors first is was one of the most important uh, things for every every single analysis this is what you should do um, to before you start doing anything check the competitors uh, we have pretty pretty dope article uh, about uh, how to select competitors on our blog so I encourage you to check it out um, I also mentioned that topic uh, in the masterclass video uh, there are timestamps on YouTube so you can just find uh, select competitors and it's all all the questions are answered already so I encourage you to, to check the uh, yeah thanks <laughs> thanks for s listening to me for two hours uh, so um, check again the part with selecting the competitors uh, to just uh, make sure that you are doing it correct because it can skew the whole analysis so uh, I will say it all the time select the right competitors dump a keyword that doesn't match your user intent uh, change uh, your strategy if you are too weak uh, for the keyword you're trying to rank uh, because this way you can only struggle for a year and gain nothing so uh, make sure you target the right keyword you have enough support you have enough strength to target it uh, the isn't the intent is matching and uh, the competitors are competitors are selected properly and only then you can uh, perform uh, successful on page optimization with server those are uh, this is the this is like a foundation of of doing on page with with server okay guys so uh, I'm not sure if you if if we can do an, uh, any other analysis. I know I started a bit late due to those issues with microphone. Um, let me know in the comments, though. But um, what I have to say, uh, well, hmm, let's move on to 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 the topic I mentioned at the beginning uh, that uh, everyone who is uh, still with me will get access uh, or uh, like sooner than later but earlier than all the other users so just fill this form guys it's just simple uh, email form uh, it will be open for like 10 minutes so uh, fill this form and uh, I will let you know as soon as I can uh, when when the new tool will be ready for testing uh, you will get it before the rest so thanks for for uh, staying with me that long and um, I have another question to you just before we end um, is there anyone who you'd like to see with me on the webinar uh, to, to check how this person analyze uh, pages with server to see his or her process with on-page optimization let me know and I think we had two questions mm, one was from Amr 
uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, what if I have 5k words but the average competition word count or recommendation word count is 2k? Is it healthy? Well, mm, I have seen quite a lot of uh, cases when reducing the word count helped in rankings. Uh, you can check uh, the case study from Matthew Woodward, you can check case study from Matt Diggity and they, those are public so uh, both guys ripped off their content and ranked uh, higher okay Clarissa just shut some names shut some names and I will try <laughs> I will do my best to, to get them here and so Amr to, to conclude um, make sure that the content is not no fluff if there is a fluff if you're in your content reduce the length to 2k if the content is really um, good quality and brings value to the user keep it and make sure that your true density is on point that would be, that would be my advice and when it comes to packed gaming uh, should you lower your content length? Mm, well, you can start with uh, adding all the missing terms and observe uh, the rankings. Uh, but as I as I said to to Umer, uh, make sure that the content has no fluff. Make sure that every single word on your page makes sense the client makes sense to the user makes sense to the visitor and um, that that's the only way to check the sanity um, of uh, of your content basically so if it's all unnecessary if it's all uh, providing value you can keep uh, like 1000 words um, yeah but if it doesn't help if it doesn't help, try to rip off the content. Let's see. Let's see. I will just take a quick look at those pages. Uh, the shortest one was this one. Just a quick check. Well, it's not. It's not too fast. So how many? pages we managed to analyze six pages not too many and I'm sorry uh, uh, about the owner of car accident lawyer I couldn't make it sorry man well this page is not loading at all what about that one yeah, they have some content in here huh. they have this really awesome pop-up Yeah, this page is not the best competitor to compare with. So, yeah, <laughs> I should probably check those pages as well. If those 200 words are 200 words or just a bunch of, uh, of crap. Uh, so, yeah, go for the Sunflower and, and RM. Uh, those, probably those pages are better competitors. I'm number two for a keyword. I make the audit based on no one position or based on the top ten. Um, if you are second, then be super car careful about the changes you make, um, because um, you can hurt yourself if you start messing with uh, the densities, as you are the trendsetter, not the other guys behind you. So it applies. This logic applies to the top three, uh, basically. If you are top three, be super caref careful. You are the trendsetter. So the only thing I would advise you to do is to include words and phrases from the true density that you are missing and your competitors have. Uh, that's that this is safe. Uh, it won't hurt you and it may help you if your article wasn't comprehensive enough. Yeah, yeah, Joseph is, is kind of right. You can you can do it as well. Just uh, reach out for backlinks, or uh, my strategy 
here would be to build some supportive pages and try to rank them and send some uh, some, some some amount of uh, internal links uh, from relevant pages from pages that are uh, smaller topics uh, that are kind of long tail keywords to the main keyword that you are second already that will be a good a good and safe method just make sure that you don't go outside your topic so if you are a SEO agency don't write about uh, television ads uh, and you are safe this way okay guys so um, I won't roast on the other page uh, last 30 seconds for, for, for a question and uh, I just want to say thank you for your attention uh, without you there will be no roast uh, without your pages without your engagement so um, that's really an honor for me to, to host it and we had pretty pretty good uh, webinar today um, quite a lot of insights uh, some technical problems of course and yeah thank you again uh, I cannot see any questions so I will just stop the stream and yeah have a great day everyone and thanks for being with me uh, see you later on see you in a month on the fifth on page roast webinar have a great day yo